Let's now discuss on how to create a CD presentation using the Flash application. This is the demo presentation which we will be creating. To create this presentation, let's open a new document. For that, click on File, New and then choose Flash File Action Script 2.0. Now select properties. Here type in the dimension as 800 into 600. Let's change the color to black. Let's increase the frame rate to 25 frames per second and then click on OK. Now you can find the background color have changed to black. Let's rename this particular layer as BG. After that select the first keyframe and then create a rectangle on the workspace. After that, select the rectangle and then apply radial gradient. Let's change its color. Now let's select the gradient transform tool and then adjust the gradient. Let's now convert this layer BG into a symbol. For that, press F8 on your keyboard. Let's then rename the symbol as BG and select Graphic. Let's now adjust the brightness of the background layer. For that, click on Properties, select the layer and choose Brightness. Over here, decrease the brightness. Now let's create a new layer for the title and then rename it as Title. After that, select the text tool and then click inside the workspace. Let's type Digital Media Portfolio. After that, select Properties, select the text and then let's change the font. Let's make it bold. Let's choose Align. Here choose Central Align. After that, let's convert this particular title into a symbol. For that, press F8 and then let's rename it as Title. Now select the first frame of the layer title and then apply Create Motion Tween. After that, insert a keyframe on the 20th position. Now select the first keyframe and press Ctrl Alt S on your keyboard, then type 250 over here. Let's now try to create a bouncing effect for the text. For that, insert a keyframe on the 22nd position and then scale the title to 105. After that, insert another keyframe on the 24th position and scale the particular title to 90%. And then let's try playing the particular clip. Here you can find the title bouncing. If you want to increase the speed of the animation, decrease the number of frames by pressing Shift plus F5. Now to maintain the background throughout the animation, select the 15th position and insert a frame. This would maintain the background throughout the animation. Now insert a new layer for icons and rename the layer as icons. Let's now import few icons. For that click on File, Import and choose Import to Stage. Over here, choose the location where the file has saved. Let's choose this particular icon. Now you can find that the icon is imported onto the stage. Now let's import another icon. Choose the same location and import a file. Now here you can find two icons being placed. After then, select both the icons and then press Ctrl Alt S on your keyboard and type in 75% under scale. Let's now arrange the position of the icons. Let's now convert this icon into button by pressing F8 on the keyboard. Here choose button and then rename it as CD. After that click on OK. Let's now give rollover function for this particular button by double clicking on the icon. Here, let's create an animation where when you move the mouse button over the particular button, 
the animation would start. For that, let's copy the first up frame and paste it on the over frame. To create an animation on the over frame, let's convert it into a movie symbol. For that, press F8 on your keyboard. Here choose movie clip. Let's rename it as CDANI. After that, click on OK. After that, double click on the icon and apply Create Motion Tween on the first frame. After that, insert another keyframe on the fifth position. Now scale the icon by 125% by pressing Ctrl Alt S. This is how the icon will get animated. Let's give an action script for the fifth frame. Choose Global Functions, Timeline Control and then click on Stop. After that, let's go back to CD. Here we have applied animation on the up position and on over position. Now let's copy a frame from the up and paste it on down. Let's rescale and reduce the size of the icon to 95%. Let's now go back to scene 1. Let's now press Ctrl Alt B on the keyboard to preview the animation done on the particular icon right on the workspace. Now here we have completed the animation on the particular icon. Let's now try animating the second icon. For that, select the second icon, convert it into simple. Let's choose button and then rename it as web. Now double click on the icon, copy the first frame and paste it on over. Let's convert it into a movie clip and rename it as web A and I. Now double click on the icon, apply create motion twin, insert a keyframe on the fifth position and rescale the icon to 125%. Here let's insert an action script. Let's choose stop. And then let's go back to the buttons. Let's copy the first up frame and then paste it on down. Here let's scale it to 95% and then go back to the scene 1. To give a name below the button, let's select the title tool and then type in the text. Let's type in tutorial CDs. After that, let's choose the properties. And then let's adjust its font. After that, let's change the color. Let's take a copy of the same text and paste it so that we don't have to type it again. Now edit the particular text. Let's type in web link. Now let's preview the animation. Now we have to add the close button for this particular page. For that create a new layer and then let's rename it as close. Now let's import an icon for the close button. Let's choose import and choose import stage. Let's select this particular icon. Let's zoom in. And then convert this icon into a button by pressing F8. Let's rename it as close. To give rollover animation for this particular button, double click on the button. Create a new layer. Let's rename it as name. After that, let's select the Type tool and then type in Close. Let's select the Free Transform tool and transform the text. Now create a new layer BG to place a box behind the text. Let's move the layer below layer 1. Now select the Rectangle tool. Increase the corner radius to 3, change the fill color to white, 
let's decrease the alpha value to 50 percent and then create the rectangle let's copy the frames from the up position and then paste it on over after then select the rectangle and increase the alpha value to 100 percent now select the text and increase its color value let's now go back to scene 1 zoom out now zoom in now here we have completed the animation for buttons let's create a new layer and then rename it as script after that select the first frame and insert an action script let's choose the action script from browse or network here choose FS command and then choose the option full screen mode this will open the particular page in a full screen mode now this is how your animation would appear now here we want our animation to stop at this particular position therefore insert a new keyframe and then insert an action script over here choose stop let's now save this document for that press ctrl s choose a desktop create a new folder let's name it digital media let's name the file name as home now let's publish this document by pressing ctrl enter on your keyboard this is how your animation would appear on the document let's now try opening the SWF file for that minimize the flash application then open the folder and open the SWF file this is how your animated document would appear let's now give action for the close button for that select the close button right click and choose actions over here from the browse or network choose FS command click over here and choose quit now let's save the document let's now publish the document to view it in the full screen mode minimize the application open the folder and then double click on the SWF file here you can find your animation now if you click on the close button you can close the document let's now create a second page for that click on file choose new here choose flash action script 2.0 let's now open the properties window for that click on window choose properties now here mention the dimension as 800 into 600 let's choose the background color as black frame rate as 25 frames per second let's now save this document by pressing ctrl s let's name this document as tutorial and then click on save now rename the layer as BG now import the same background layer which was there on the first document that is the background layer on home for that select the background layer go to edit choose copy get back to the second document tutorial choose the first keyframe click on edit and choose paste in place now you can find the background layer being placed on the second document let's now create a new layer and rename it as about after that select the type tool and then type in the content on this particular page now select the selection tool select the text let's decrease the font size then centralize the text let's change the font color of the title text now create a new layer let's rename it as scroll now select the type tool make it as input text create a text box 
click on window choose components or use Ctrl plus F7 on your keyboard from here choose user interface and then choose UI scroll bar and drag and drop it inside the text box now close the components window and type in the text this is the typed in content which can be viewed using the scroll bar to check the document press Ctrl enter to publish the document this is how your scroll bar would function on the document to make the text more visible let's create a background layer for that create a new layer let's rename it as scroll BG then select the rectangle tool make the corner radius as 0 choose the color of the rectangle as white let's reduce the alpha value to 50 percent and then create a rectangle over here now let's try publishing the document by pressing Ctrl enter on your keyboard let's now lock the layer scroll after that double click on the rectangle choose the ink bottle tool click on the rectangle to fill the stroke after that select the stroke increase the thickness of the stroke by 5 now let's go back to the scene 1 after that publish the document by pressing Ctrl enter here you can find the scroll text being set let's now add a button for a video demo for that let's create a new layer and rename it as button now select the first keyframe of the layer and then let's import an icon into this workspace for that click on file import import to stage and choose an icon from here now you can find an icon being imported now let's select the text tool and type in a text now under properties select static text after that increase the font size and then adjust the text box to fit the text exactly within the box now to convert this particular text into a button press F8 on the keyboard here choose button and rename the button as demo after that click on OK now to give the rollover animation for this button double click on the button let's create a new layer BG and move it below layer 1 after that select the rectangle tool let's change the fill color to black and decrease the alpha value to 25 percent then let's make the corner radius as 5 and then create the rectangle after that copy the frames from the up frame and then paste it on the over now select the rectangle let's increase the alpha value to 75 percent and then get back to scene 1 now press ctrl enter to publish the document here you can find the animation which you had done on the particular button let's now insert two more buttons in this particular page for that let's copy the exit button from the home page click over here click on edit and choose copy after that get back to the tutorial page click on edit and choose paste in place now create a new layer and name it back now zoom into the portion where you wish to place the new button now select the type tool and type in the text after that let's change the color of the text to white now press F8 
and convert this text into a symbol. Let's name it back. Now to give the rollover animation for the button, double click on the button. Then reduce the alpha value to 50%. After then, copy the frame from the up frame and then paste it on the over frame. Here, increase the alpha value to 100%. Now let's go back to scene 1 and then publish this document. Here you can find the animation being applied. Now let's import a video file within this document. That is, let's import the video file in a separate scene within the same document. For that click on Window, Other Panels and choose Scene or use Shift plus F2 on your keyboard. Here click on Add Scene. Now a new scene have been inserted within the same document. Let's import the video in this particular scene. For that click on New, Import and choose Import Video. This is the Import Video dialog box. Over here, choose the location where the video is saved. Let's choose it from the desktop. Let's select this file and then click on Open. After that, click on Next. Here, choose the second option and then click on Next. Let's choose the encoding quality as high quality 700 kbps for flash 8 and above players. Next, let's choose crop and resize. Since our document is 800 into 600 resolution, the video resolution has to be smaller. Therefore, let's type in 600 into 450. Here, you can view the skins for players. Let's choose the default player skin and then click on Next. After that, click on Finish. Now, your video is getting encoded. Now here, you can find the video being imported. In this window too, you will have to add the Back button and the Quit button. Let's go to the Scene 1 and copy both the buttons by holding Shift key and by clicking on the particular buttons. After that, click on Edit and choose Copy. Now get back to the scene 2 and click on edit and choose paste in place. Now here you can find the back button and the quit button being placed. Let's now rename the layer as BG. Now let's create a new layer. Let's name it text. After that, select the type tool and type in a text below the player. Now let's convert this particular text into a symbol. Let's make the type as movie clip and then rename the button as text. After that, click on OK. Now let's give a scrolling animation for this particular text. For that, we'll have to give a script. To give a script, under properties, let's name this particular symbol as text. Let's right click on the first keyframe of the particular layer and choose Actions. Over here, type in the script. This is a complicated script about which we have discussed in Flash Animation Tutorial. Since this text is animated, let's move the text outside the workspace. Now to give action onto the back button, right click and choose Actions. From Time Control, choose Go To and under Scene, choose Scene 1. Now select the first keyframe of the BG layer and give an action. Here, let's give Stop. Now let's go to the Scene 1. Here, let's give an action script to View Demo button which when clicked will go to the Scene 2. Right click and choose Actions. From the Time Control choose Go To and from Scene choose Scene 2. Now to give action onto the Back button, right click and choose Actions. Now here if you notice, the Back button has to open the Home page. Therefore the script which has to be used is Load Movie. 
here on the URL position type in home.swf that is the extension of the particular home page is compulsory. Now let's create a new layer for the scripting of this page. Let's rename the layer as script. Let's now right click on the keyframe, choose actions and then insert the action script stop. Let's also insert an action script fs command and choose full screen over here so that the document will open in full screen mode. Now the document is almost complete. Let's now test the document by publishing it. For that press Control enter. Here you can find that all the animation is done. Here if you want you can increase the duration of the clip that is on video track number one. By selecting it, right click you can also find the text animation being created. Here, we haven't given any action for these buttons. Let's now give the actions. Select the home page, right click on the button and choose actions. Over here, choose load movie. On the URL position, type in tutorial dot SWF. Now let's try publishing the document. Here you can find the link for the particular button have been assigned. Let's give an internet address as a web link. For that right click on the button, choose actions, choose get URL in the URL position type in the web address it should be an HTTP link and the window should be selected as self now let's save the document minimize the application then open the folder and double click on home.swf now here you can find your presentation being complete The web page will be opened only if you are connected to internet. Now let's click on the close button. Now if you want the files to be copied onto a CD, you will require these four files for presentation. These two files are the work files. Now if you want your presentation to be opened in all the computers, it has to be converted into an exe file. Let's convert the file into an exe file. For that double click on the home page, then press escape on your keyboard choose file create projector over here choose a location where to save the particular file let's type in a file name over here let's type in portfolio here the save as type as projector.exe and then click on save now here you can find the exe file being created now if you double click on the particular file you can find the same file being opened Now if you want your presentation to be opened as an auto run, that is if you want your presentation to open up automatically when you insert the CD, you will have to create an auto run file. To create the auto run file, click on start, all programs, accessories and choose notepad. Here type in this particular text, that is auto run in square brackets, open equal to portfolio.exe. The portfolio.exe is the file name of this particular file. After that, click on file and choose save. Here, this particular auto run file has to be saved within this window. That is, the window which contains the exe files and the home pages. Here, type in auto run dot inf. After that, click on save and then click on the close button. 
Now here you can find the auto run file being created. Now when you write the files to the CD, copy only these files. These two files are the work files for Flash. Therefore, just copy these files. These are the SWF files. This is the player file. This is the demo video file. This is the auto run file. And this is the exe file. Now when you insert the CD into your computer, the exe file will automatically start playing. 